Last week, Nicole Ferraro talked about the PBS special Digital Nation and its coverage of the failure of multitasking. Today, I want to talk about another aspect of that same show, the idea of finding and pursuing your passion online as an alternative to traditional education and the way in which this might lead you to a new career or hobby. Mark Prinsky, founder and CEO of Games to Train, talks quite a lot about this and also about the idea of the bifurcation of education. Education is no longer training in schools predominantly and formal courses. It is predominantly now, he feels, information that we learn on the internet that may take us in completely counterintuitive directions. Education has bifurcated completely into school where you get a credential and it's about the past and after school where you really learn interesting stuff on your own. The interesting thing about Mark Prinsky's ideas is that we can understand completely the mechanisms that would lead to the phenomenon he's describing, but we don't know of a single living, breathing human example of somebody who's done that, who's pursued a hobby or career entirely different from what any of their peers or family have ever done, and have done that entirely through the internet without any formal coursework or schooling. It's something we all recognize would be possible, and it's exciting to think about. So there are only two possibilities of why we're not hearing these stories and why none of the 207 My Story reactions to Digital Nation deal with such stories of counterintuitive career or hobby choices. Maybe it's not happening, or maybe it is happening, and those stories are just not getting out. But either way, it's an exciting idea. Clay Shirky has talked about the fact that most of the time, freed up by modern life, we spend sitting on the couch watching TV, accomplishing nothing. And this would be an alternative to that, where we could follow our dreams on the Internet, do things with our lives that were never possible before, and that now are through modern technology. It's an idea worth pondering and pursuing. This has been Kim Solis bringing you tech musings from the hinterland.